Hi there. This kid over here, his name is Ganesh. He wants the computer to do multiplication tables. So this is what a multiplication table looks like. A force multiplication table would be 4 times 1 equals 4, 4 times 2 equals 8, 4 times 3 equals 12 and keeps on going. So to get a machine, a computer to do this, one of the techniques we can use is to l create what I call boxes. So this box over here, this one here, is a fixed box, it's a number box, it does not change. And this box over here is a changing box because it goes from one, two, three, and onwards. So you get a number box, you multiply that by the changing box, and you get an output. So the question really is, how do you change this box? How do you change the values of this box, to be more precise? And there are some techniques. You have to tell the machine to do something repeatedly, right? You have to, you have to change the values in this box, and it has to change repeatedly. So it's like a loop. You know, you, uh, you change the values. Let's say it starts with 1. And then when you finish the loop, you can add 1 to it. Or uh, you can add 2 to it. But in our case, it's really 1. So you can keep on changing 1. And so it's, for the first time when you go through this, it'll be 1. The next time over, it'll be 2, 3. As long as you keep on going into this loop, you can change the value inside the changing box. Just like Ganesh over here is skipping. Every time he skips, he will add 1. Uh, so, you know, that's one way of doing it. Uh, in uh, the program we use, uh, we are, we're going to use Python. Um, and inside that, we can use a concept called uh, range. I'll explain that in a bit. So you create um, a range later. But for now, uh, let's talk about this thing. So we use an environment called Jupyter, which I have mentioned before. And inside Jupyter, you can create these boxes. See, this is a box which I create, the number box. I have got a changing box. And I can uh, print the number box times changing box. This symbol over here is times. So print this text first, and then I have a number box. I assign these values to the number box, and then I can print this value, which is number box times changing box. But in this case, the changing box is fixed to 1. And like I said, you have to give the computer, the machine, special instructions to change this in a loop. So let's go to the uh, next slide over here. So like, like I said, you can define a lot of boxes, right? You can define a lot of boxes up front in Python. They're called, uh, I believe it's called range. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's called range. <laughs> range. And you can say range of, uh, in this case, um, you know, uh, one. And I need range says one. I should define one. And then I'll say, uh, it starts from 1, and I need, uh, you know, uh, 10 boxes. Uh, but the the way the range works in Python is you have to um, you have to give it one extra box. Only then it'll say from here uh, uh, from here to just before 11. So it's 1 to 10. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's how Python works, right? You define a range. And uh, it stops before before uh, 11. So it's this is how you define a range, right? It's uh, you create all these boxes, a range, and uh, and that's how we do it in Python. Let's go to the next screen here. So I can tell uh, once I create a lot of boxes, a range of boxes. I can call it something, call a lot of boxes, and I can ask the changing box to go in and change the value inside the changing box. 
using a command hey changing box uh, keep on going through this through these lot of boxes and change the value inside the changing box okay and the way I do it with Python or a typical programming language would be using a command call of four so uh, this is a for loop so I say for changing box let me get my uh, marker over here so I can highlight this for changing box in lot of boxes do something okay for this box in lot of boxes do something and it'll repeat that as long as the, the you know depending on how many boxes you have in a lot of boxes so it's in lot of boxes right so if I have 10 boxes it'll uh, it'll change it'll do this for 10 times okay so let's move on so this is how it looks like in Python for changing box in lot of boxes do something it doesn't matter what you do but do something okay in this case it's doing it's doing a lot of print it's printing a lot of things out but you can do anything here right as long as it's valid in Python okay so let's see if I have anything else remaining here before I switch on nope so I'm going to switch on to my Jupyter environment I'll move to my Jupyter environment and this is what I have here uh, so as you see here I have um, my first part let's print something out it's pretty straightforward I'm printing I love this new lesson then I assign these boxes uh, assign values to these boxes I'll call these box something else later I'll define what these I'll explain what these boxes mean in uh, Python but for now I'm just calling it boxes I have these values and then I print a multiplication this is the second part here I print the uh, the uh, multiplication right so uh, number box times changing box number box is four changing box is one it gives me four after which I will try to get a lot of boxes and I use what I said before which is a range I define and as soon as I do this I uh, uh, I can uh, define a lot of boxes and um, and this these boxes the lot of boxes contains values from 1 to uh, 10 okay so this values a range from 1 to 10 and then I can print a lot of boxes uh, so when I print a lot of boxes I get uh, a range which is what I defined here and then after I do that I've defined all these lot of boxes and uh, these boxes have values in it I can loop it out what do I mean by loop it up? I use the command called I will do a for loop and the for loop looks like this right changing box in lot of boxes for changing box in lot of boxes print changing box and if I said this is something I'm doing within the for loop so it's going to start printing all the values inside the lot of boxes which is it's a range of numbers range of numbers it's defining so it'll it'll start doing printing changing boxes right one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten like I said a lot of boxes a range of numbers from one to ten not eleven because that's how range is defined in Python it does not include the last um, last number the way you define it I'll, uh, I'll explain this in a little more detail in a future class what a range is uh, for the purpose of this lesson I'm trying to keep it simple uh, imagine this to be a range of numbers from 1 to 10 not including 11 okay so uh, so what did I do here I went ahead and did a for loop you know I'm saying go hey mr. changing box change your value based on what is in a lot of box and what is in this range and print it out okay so I printed that out now I'm going to do a little more advanced thing the purpose of this lesson is to get a multiplication table so uh, my friend uh, the kiddo wanted to uh, wanted to do a multiplication multiplication table for four so what do you need you need two two boxes you need a number box and you need a changing box correct and the changing box keeps on changing so you can go four times one four times two four times three four times four four times five as on and then you find 
the the product. So let's go through that. Same thing. You do four changing box in a lot of boxes. You print the number box, which uh, in this case is a seek. Uh, uh, I'm using a, a technique to uh, make sure the number box, uh, you know, uh, uh, and the next line all comes together. So this is do not, you know, do not go to the next line is what this is saying. And here, please don't go to the next line. And I say print star. So it's I'm saying like this example, uh, the number box is four. Star changing box changes to one. Print equals to and then actually print the multiplication number. So number box times changing box equals the actual multiplication table. So it looks like this four times one, four times two, four times three, and on all the way to four times ten. So I did a lot of things here, like I pointed out, a lot of things here within the for loop. I printed this, I printed that, I printed this, and I printed the final multiplication table, right? The final multiplication table is number box times changing box. And that's the end of the chapter. This is how you do uh, or create a multiplication table inside uh, Jupyter using Python. And hopefully you have this concept of for loop. Uh, you understand the concept of a for loop. It's a looping mechanism. Uh, and you understand this concept of this box, which can take on values from other boxes, uh, take on value from this range. This is uh, a range in this case. And it, uh, as long as there's values in this range, this box would go ahead and uh, go through this in a loop, looped manner uh, till it finishes all the values uh, in this range. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon in my next lesson. And by the way, if you do need um, uh, a one-on-one -on, -one on how to how does this work, I'm more than happy to do it for you. And all this information is and in, beneath this video, uh, including the link to the uh, Jupyter notebook, which you can open up in a browser and explore. Thank you.